Shalom, giving all the praise and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, who I learned from daily. A sincere Shalom, Labakarium, Shah, Yasharallah. That's peace to the hopeful elect, the elect predestined from the foundation of the world to be saved. You and your families in these last days. Man, it's getting serious. This came out um, last night. This is breaking news. Now, they, they keeping this out of the mainstream media for a reason. Breaking news. China mobilizing millions of reserve troops for war. This is direct war with the U.S. You know, um, this is off the grid. There's a farming. You know, uh, Paul is going to go into it. You know, I think they're trying to get about a billion soldiers, and that's including women. So they getting ready to move. It's the reason why all these spy balloons are being found all over the world right now. We're going to go into another video about that. But this is the job. This is the job of the true watchman to keep our eyes on this because it's sizzling hot, man. You know, we're in the days of the second coming of our Lord. We're in the last seconds before all hell break loose upon the second coming of our Lord. Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, it behooves us to be prepared, to be watching. Who is that good steward who is the Lord may find doing so? You know, Luke 12, maybe we'll get that. We'll see what the spirit do. You know, you, we got to be on our watch day in and day out. This is for the watchmen of Israel. You know, Wi-Fi, this is what you should be doing at this time. Instead of playing games with this, worrying about your vain glory. The, 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 the deck of cards is about to fall on your head, man. We at the end of the world. We at the end of the world. This is, this is, this, this, this is, this is a fallen world. We at the end of the fall. Towards the dawn, the rising of the hopeful elect under our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, the 144,000, man. This is what it's about. As we see these prophecies take place, you know, in this darkness, you know, because it's the dark day for Esau. You know, Esau is going to receive this darkness in the two thirds of our people as well as the other nations. But to us, man, the sun is dawning. And we know the bright morning star, <laughs> the bright morning star, was our, which is our Lord. You know, it's about to shine. Matter of fact, before we get this, let's get that. Because that's what we're waiting for. Man. This is what we're waiting for. Matter of fact, it's one right here, right in the chapter. Right? This is of Revelation 22 and 16. And Yahweh Shah have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root. This is Yahweh Shah speaking. I am the root. And the offspring of David, right? Seeing he comes right from the sperm, sperma of David, right? Through Jesse. And the bright and morning star. So when you go into that bright, you know, that's this is this, this is this is this is the morning star. You go into that word morning, which is like a pinnacle, a summit at the top. The star it shines or a rock. And the bright, which is the light. The light bearer, that's Yahweh Shah. Lucifer, Lucy, light. Let me get one more. Um, and, and this is the day that we're dawning into, man. The day of our Lord. Yeah, he on he on his way. That's why this world is shaking up right now. He on he on it. This is uh 2 Peter 1, verse 19. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, and that's what you should be in right now. Wi-Fi, these prophecies, man. Whereunto you do well that you take heed of these prophecies, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place. Because if they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light in them. Until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. And we know who that is. That's Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, the spirit. And right now, the comforter is working. The Ruach Kodash. Ruach meaning spirit. Kodash is holy. It's working. And it's only working with particular men. But we we, we, we waiting for it. See, with to be in these prophecies is to be in the light at these times. That's why you got to be in these prophecies, man. In, in every prophecy of the book. This is, uh, this is Revelations 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. This was John falling at the angel's feet to worship the angel. He said unto me, see thou do it not. 
I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahusha. Meaning that this angel had a message for John. And this is what was working with the whole four elect, which is the Holy Spirit, right? For the testimony or to be a witness of Yahusha is the spirit of prophecy. And that's what we got to be in at this time because, hey, you're going to see it, man. This thing about to break out. That's why it's moving really fast. Revelations 22, verse 10. And he saith unto me, Sell not the sayings of the prophecies of this book. And that's dealing with Revelations 13, Revelations 15, Revelations 14, Revelations 20. All about that karagma. You cannot seal the sayings of this book because it's coming to pass. For the time is at hand, man. We had a serious time of things are breaking out. Breaking news for you guys. China war mobilization law begins March 1st, 2023. This is a very significant uh, news update, folks, because China is mobilizing reserve troops for war with the United States. Because that's their enemy, folks. China's enemy is the United States. That's the only enemy that they have. It's pretty much uh, United States and India, uh, but it seems like they still settle their difference with India. So this news is coming in from Hal Turner. And before y'all guys go crazy over Hal Turner, folks, I have confirmed this information. This information is true that China signed a law last December, December 30th, 2022, authorizing the mobilization of uh, their entire country. This covers their mm. entire country, men and women, and this law will come into effect on March the 1st uh, in just a little bit over a month. So let's go ahead and read this. So you, um, you hear that, you know, we're not going to go through all this. You can tune in. This is Off Grid Desert Farming, ran by Paul and his wife, Adrian. You know, good channel. You know, he gets a lot of his news from um, War News 24-7. It's a website, you know, that you can go directly to. It's in Greek, but you can convert the language over to English. Okay? And, and as you can see, <laughs> we about to break out, man. This Third World's War is going to be serious, and it's, it's happening. So, um, let me see what else here. Okay, this came through. This is Dabu 7. How do you make investing a habit? Selected for the commercial. You tie it to something you already do every day, like buying coffee. This is Dabu 7. We're now getting word that China has conducted tests that launched hypersonic missiles off of balloons, off of these decks, so to speak, that are hanging off these balloons, these technological hubs of which we don't really know what's going on with. We know that this event just took place over the United States, in which right after they shut it down, they wanted to say that this isn't the first time it's happened, that it's happened multiple times in the past. Then we come to find out that they say it happened during the Trump administration, but Mattis, being treasonous, refused to tell Trump because they thought he would be too aggressive on the situation. Yet this is what they're saying. Then they go on to say that these balloons were spotted over bases in Hawaii and Guam. We knew right then that something nefarious was going on. All the lemmings can buy that it's a weather balloon and all this, but it's obviously not. Now they're stating that there's been a fleet of these balloons that have been dispatched around the world and they have witnessed them over multiple continents, like five continents. So, in the end now, we're finding out that this is a large-scale operation. These balloons have been floating around for some time. And just going back to 2018, China aired on their own state television footage of a high-altitude balloon dropping hypersonic missiles. Hypersonic missiles of which we have not shown one time that we can down or that we can stop. Not one all of that said, these things could still be carrying EMPs, dropping spores, doing anything that you could think of. And it's mighty suspect that the United States sits on a lot of this information till last minute. And for everyone wanting to say that, oh, it was a United States balloon, well then why did China claim it? 
And if that's the case, they're in bed together. Wake up. The world is a stage. Been telling you that for the longest time. Join hey, me. So you see it going down. And I, I heard on 1010 Wins this morning, you know, that, um, you know, allegedly they shot down the balloons in the Atlantic Ocean. And they were sending some Navy ships out there to uh, gather the remnant, which has left. You know, but you got to think this this thing was three times the size of a bus. We don't know how much of that stuff already sunk in the sea. They saying it's this high tech technology in there. We don't know, man. You can't believe the news. You know, we were just going on faith at this point. But we know that this man, this devil is up to something based on Revelations 12. Based on Revelations 12, the Lord said that uh, that the devil is going to come down with great wrath. Matter of fact, let's get it. So it behooves us, Akim. You know, Akwath, it's mandatory to be on the watch that you do not get caught off guard. Revelation 12, verse 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and to the sea. For the devil, which is Esau, right, is come down unto you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So I tell you in Revelations, man, time is short. Keep telling you that over and over. Because once this thing hit, man, ain't no pulling this thing back, man. There's no pulling this thing back. Once the Lord moved forward, that's it. So everybody got to gear your spirit up, you know, more fasting, definitely more praying. Creating that personal relationship with Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Do not wait to the last minute like a lot of these fools are going to do, man. Okay. Uh, this is a watchful servant. A watchful, the real watchman going to have a spirit on him, you know, because at this time, the Lord is going to force you to watch. He's forcing the people that's the elect that's going to be saved from the nation of Israel, the election, the predestined, you read about Ephesians 1. They're the predestined ones are going to be forced, forced to be watching. It says, let your loins be girded about and let your lights burn. And you, your likewise, so like, let me read that again. I'm, I'm, I'm speeding. I'm, oh, I'm at the damn plantation. So let me slow down and start from the 35th verse again. Let your loins be girded about and your lights burning. Burning, what is that light? That's that spirit. That's that oil you should be on fire right now, man. Should, for what? For the second coming. Who don't want to get out of here? Who don't want to leave this damn place, man? We hate this place. We understand that we suffered enough. The elect fully understands this story completely. So we waiting for that second Adam, our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, to break us out of this damn prison. We hate this place, man. So it says, and you yourselves like unto men that wait for their lord and a lot of israelites out there professing that they're the men of the lord they're the prophets they have lost that patience man they collecting their reward their consolation on their side which is man's praise they collecting praise of men they in love with this dark side this dark kingdom man but we we waiting for our lord when he will return from the wedding Revelations 19, the wedding is about to be set, man. Why is the Lord returning from the way? Because he's coming to collect the elect to take them to the ceremony. That's why Paul said, I espouse you. You understand? Chase versions to our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. When he cometh and knocketh, and right now he's knocking on the minds. He's knocking on the minds of the elect and he's supping with us. The Wala Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Now, how can you open to someone immediately unless you're waiting for the package? You got Yahweh shot knocking right now, and people ain't opening these doors. So when this all this hell break loose, an EMP pop off, they do a false flag of rent, a funky Frida, right? You all discombobulated. You wait until the last minute to get connected the lord still tells us about that personal relationship it, you should be going deeper into that personal relationship with your lord at this time you don't know where you're gonna be at when this thing go down man he's gonna put everybody's feet through the fire so you want to be ready to open the door immediately blessed are those servants whom the lord 
when he cometh shall find watching on your watch because you're scared. And you know, so if you're watching, there's things that go with that. Praying, said watch and pray. You know, you're getting rid of that old man because you definitely don't want him to show up and you're doing something off like you in the world. So you're getting shit in that old man. You, you're doing what's been prescribed to you through the gospel as a man and a woman of the Lord. The Lord says, uh, uh, put on as the elect. So we say we the whole for elect. There's things that the elect should be doing right now. Why they're watching and waiting for our Lord. So it says, I'm going to read 37 again. Blessed are those servants whom when the Lord, whom the Lord, it's like, I don't know why I'm so tongue tied right now. Whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you that he shall gird himself and make him to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve. You see that? That said, our Lord will come forth and serve hit them. The Lord going to be serving at this wedding, man. 38. And if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. And this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Be ye therefore ready also for the son of man cometh at an hour when ye think not. Hey, this that's plain and simple, man. Why should we be watching? Why fi? Not going backwards and, and debating over the camp sign and the 12 tribes and, you know, the Greek doctrine. Why should we be watching? So your ass, your retarded ass, your slow belly ass don't get caught off guard. That's why we watching, man. This thing is going to be serious, going to be ferocious. The Lord said a time like no other. You ain't never been scared like the, 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 the fear the Lord going to put on you. That's why we need more faith, more oil. The Lord going to protect his elect with more faith. The whole four elect going to be walking around here like crazy men, man. They going to think we crazy. The Lord going to put so much faith in us to withstand what's about to happen. So it ain't, the question is, is not if you're on the Lord's side, is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah on your side? Giving all praise and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bashem Rakakadash Shalom.